Hey y'all, if you've been uh, keeping up with the progress with us, I appreciate you on the uh, guest room makeover. If, um, if you haven't been watching, the update is this room was hunter green and now it's a sort of a deep muted teal color which is known as peacock plume um, from Sherwin-Williams. And I'm going to turn this around and show you. Let me see if I can do that. Okay. The, and what I wanted to show you today was the difference in trim colors. And you know I can't wait. We started bringing some furniture in here. Look how tiny that nightstand looks. But anyway, the uh, this is the original trim color we had in here. The, our house is 15 years old. And it's almost an almond color. And I don't remember the color. So I went and picked out a new color. Which was called uh, Divine White. And on the, let me see if I have this. I'm going to show you it this way. On the Divine White, which is, let me open this here. See how it almost looks like a cream color? Well, that's what I wanted because it would look decent with the bed that I painted in the crinoline by DIY. Well, it looked, let me bring this back over here and show you. See the difference between this outer trim and the door here? Maybe you can see more on this one. See how much wider it is? It just looked white and that wasn't what I wanted because it, it changed the look of the wall color and made it less muted and more bright, which was not what I wanted for the room. So if you look at that top color there and the color that that trim turned out, those are two totally different things. And uh, so I went, Sherwin-Williams didn't open until 10 o'clock today here. So we went to Lowe's that sells a brand of Sherwin-Williams paint because we do believe in Sherwin-Williams. And uh, the lady told me because this is on a white background, that's what made this one look darker. It's really not darker. Well, sounds like a bunch of malarkey to me and I've been painting for a long time, but you know, I just decided to go with what she said and bought another color. So there it is up top. And that one is, if you look on this same sheet right here, the antique white is not much darker than the divine white, which is the one that's here on the doorway. If you, uh, this, and this is the new one, that's the antique white, this is the divine white, and this is sort of an almond color. And um, there's a whole lot of difference there. So I, I think they're full of malarkey and there was a mistake on the divine white and that's just a plain white because that is the color that I wanted. But now that we have the antique white at the top, it almost looks yellow, especially coming out of the um, container. But it's definitely, that one is definitely darker than this one, even though they're the same almost on the sheet. And they're a totally different tone than this one, which was kind of the almond color that we did originally. So the yellow looking one, which is the antique white, is going to look best with the furniture that I painted with the DIY crinoline. So that's the one we're going to go with. So when you're looking at these um, color charts, this is the Sherwin-Williams ones, and this is the same exact one that I picked up at Sherwin-Williams. is the same one that I picked up in the Sherwin-Williams department of Lowe's. And like I said, originally I used, I bought this Divine White, which is the one there on the outer edge. Absolutely nothing alike, if you look at the two of them that way. Um, now we've got the Antique White, the darker one. That's the one that looks yellow at the top, but it does look really good and it'll, and it's going to dry how we want. So now we have to repaint all this other trim again, because there's, like I said, I've been painting a long time. There's no... Dip, you know, no doubt in my mind that was a mistake in the mix, but I believe it's going to look good. If you'll uh, remember the quick video I did of the giant rose painting, that's going to go there. Around this way, we have the dresser that I painted to match the uh, bed there and the flower arrangement. I did that live with y'all and painted that vase. It'll go here, but uh, um, and the cute little chain that I got on Amazon uh, to go there. Those are the updates I wanted to just come in here and, and tell you if you're thinking about doing something to one of the rooms in your house, just go for it. It was so easy um, to paint the furniture. It was nothing to paint these walls, nothing to paint that trim. And this room was hunter green with black furniture and, and wood cedar trim. And this is like a whole new room in my house. I'm so excited about it. And all together, you know, we're probably looking at 200 bucks 
to 100% change the look of this room and, and freshen it up. And I'm so excited to get it done before the holidays when we have family coming over. So if you're keeping up with this with me, I appreciate you. And give me any comments and show me pictures. If you're working on projects at your home or pieces that you're wanting to paint, tell me whether you're going brighter or darker or muted or vintage or, you know, what kind of theme you're working for. And uh, I would love to know about it. Thanks. Bye.